Okay, um, says the Shulchan Aruch. We're up to Simon Samach Vov Siftalet. Very interesting halacha. What happens if uh, your Kayan is in the middle of Krishna, all of a sudden he gets Nalia? Yeah, he came late to Shul, for example, and there he is at the back of Shul, uh, just catching up, and Ya'amoid, and he gets Nalia. So he's in the middle of Krishna, what does he do? So says the Shul, and we'll see this applies to Yisrael as well, but uh, we'll see the Mishnah explains why Dafka Kayan. So Kayan Shahya Kaira Krishma, he's he's saying Krishma, Ukurahu Likris Batura. And he gets Naliya, they call him up to to get Naliya. Yesh Misha Omesha Mafsik. There are those who are of the opinion that you sh- he should be Mafsik, stop in the middle of Krishma and go and uh, do the Aliyah. For Yesh Misha Omesha in a Mafsik. The Halacha Kidvarov, the Halacha says the Ramo is Kidvarov according to the second opinion, which is in a Mafsik. Now we'll see the Mishnah Buddha is going to argue with this. We'll see the Akhrinim, he brings Akhrinim who argue with it. But let's take a look first at the Mishnah Buddha. Sif Kalten Chaftalet, the first bit. Aisha Hoya Aisik Babirch Babirch Sehel. So Lav Dafka, this Kayim was in the middle of Krishma. Maybe he was just in the middle of the brachas of Krishma, the two brachas before Krishma or the brachas afterwards. For Chayin Shehu Omed Beemtza Haperek Oben Aprokim, or whether he was in the middle of the parak or between the Prokim. For Kosovo and Yerabad the Derech Chayim, the Bein Geulu LeTfilah Lo Yale Afulim Korohu. If he got, he's at the point where he's at the very end of, of the Birchas Krishma, he's up to Gal Yisrael, and he's about to start Shemun Esra, then everyone agrees, lo ya'aluhu, uh, lo ya'aluhu, he shouldn't go up. Ve'en soich lo'imar, be'em se Shemun Esra. And how much more so, if he's in the middle of Shemun Esra, he shouldn't uh, go up to get the Aliyah. So we have two opinions. The first opinion is Shemafzik. The first opinion is Shemafzik. Dohom ipnei kovat hapriyus, What's the svara? You, the, this this kohen is sitting at the back in his middle of krishma. He's called out from the What's the svara that he should stop his krishma or the birchas krishma and he should go get aliyah? Says because we play kovat abrius v'yirosim mafsik and uh, and therefore v'yirosim because of kovat abrius and to, to fear the other people he should be mafsik. V'cholshkim we play kovat atayra. This is kovat atayra. Lofiza afilu karo yisrael la'alas atayra. Even if they call up a yisrael, not a kohen. Even if they call up a Yisrael, Gam uh, Kain Mafsik, he should also be Mafsik. I feel the Krishma. Why does the Shulchan Aruch say Kain? To teach you an extra Chiddush. The second opinion which says, Eina Mafsik, Shesvir Leid Eina Mafsik, I feel the Kain, even a Kain, the time on the Ein Zeb Bizayin Latara, even a Kain who uh, should not be mafsik according to the second opinion, because he's in the middle of Krishma with the brachas, and he shouldn't be mafsik. And even though he's a kohen, we shouldn't, be, we shouldn't worry about the pagam. People will say, hey, maybe the guy's not really a kohen. That is apostle kohen, that's why he, can't, that's why he didn't go up. People, people will see that uh, the reason why he's not going up is because he's at a place where he can't interrupt. And therefore you don't have to worry about Pagam. And everyone will realize that's the reason because the guy is not going up because he's in a Krishma. And if he's the only Kohen in the Shul, so fine, another Kohen will go up instead of him. Now, the Mechaba says there are two opinions. That, um, sorry, I said the remote before. I don't know why I said the remote. The Kayan, the, the Mechaba says there are two opinions. The Kayan is called up in the, in the middle of Brichas Krishma or Krishma. The first opinion is Mafsik. He stops and he goes and has the Aliyah. The second opinion is Eina Mafsik. And then the Mechaba says, Vahalacha Kedvarov. Says the Mishnah Bura, Vahreinim Kosvu, Dechayoim Nagim Ha'ilim Kiyeshoim Kama. We follow the first opinion, i.e., Mafsik. That a Kayan who gets the Aliyah in the middle of Krishma, he goes up. Um, again, it's in the middle of Krishna, but not if it's after God Israel, between God Israel, not certainly not if it's in the middle of Shemun Esra. For Afidu Bukhari Yisrael, Shehu Omed Be'em Tzah Krishna, even if uh, Yisrael, who is in the middle of Krishna, he, he should go up for his Aliyah. Af Dunuchul Lahasig Yisrael Acher, even though there are plenty of other Yisraelim in Shul, he should still go up. Af Apiche Nagin Shem Afsikin, Mipnei Kovat HaTayra, because this is considered Kovat HaTayra, Levad, unless who only the pasuk Shema Yisrael. If he's in the middle of pasuk Shema Yisrael, or Bar Shem Kovid Malchus Levoid, Lo Yafsik Bemson, Eli Yigmerim, he should quickly finish off these two pesukim. Va'acha Kach Yale, Ve'ein Leshanas Haminug Mepeh Machlokes, and he shouldn't change the minug. 
uh, if he can finish the paragraph, you have the first paragraph of Shema, or the second paragraph of Shema, wherever he's up to, or wherever in the middle of Brochus of Krishna, then he should try and hurry up and finish it up before he gets Aliyah. And if he can't, there isn't time for him to finish till the end of the Perak, he should try and at least finish where, you know, the Indian. But don't delay things. Omnam. Lo yikro ima chazan. You shouldn't read with a chazan. That means the balkaira. Yeah, the practice is to, we'll see in the, in the footnote in a second, you should uh, to read with the balkaira. Raksha yir lahatas oznov lishma mena. Rather, he just listens in to the chazan, or to the balkaira. And mikolshken shelo yafsik leimer hashliach tzibu lasas mishabeirach. And he certainly shouldn't get busy with mishabeirach. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he should just get the aliyah, say the aliyah, say the brochas, go and then come back and carry on. Venira karen krishma. Venira de af and let's say it happened, the guy gave him a and he says, oh sorry, what's your name again? He's allowed to respond, my name is He doesn't have to go back to the beginning of Krishna, that's not considered a hefzik, he just carries on from wherever he was up to. Even if the leaning, that parsha was a very long parsha, it was such a long parsha, that, uh, you know, Ravi of that week, Sedra, whatever it was, was very long, that he could have said the whole of Krishna. That's all B'dievet. Certainly, if someone is in the middle of Krishna or Brachas Krishna, Lo Yikrosa, the Gabba should know, don't call him up because uh, you shouldn't disturb him. Even if there's no other Kohen, he's the only Kohen in Shul. Don't call him up in the middle of Krishna. It's not considered a pagam. You call up another Israel. You can say we're calling up this Israel, the Mokum Kain, and and people will realize the fellow is uh, is saying Krishna. No, there is a pagam over there. If if there's no other Kain, not everyone realizes the fellow is in the middle of Krishna. And therefore, says the Mishnah Bura, that if the fellow is Bein HaProkim, you can call up this Kohen, um, <coughs> even though he's in the middle of Shema or in the middle of Brochus of Shema. If the guy realizes, I came late to Shul, I'm the only Kohen here, better, before Kriyas HaTori, he should sneak out, uh, and so too with the Levi. If there's no one else who can lane, then you, he's, he's able to do that, even though he's in the middle of because of Kovod HaTorah. If he's able to finish off the thing, he should do that. Like we said, now let's just have a quick a few footnotes in the Mishnah uh, Look at 17, some very interesting things. So what have we said? We said that the Mechavah says there are two opinions. One says Mavsik, one says Eina Mavsik. Even though the Mechavah says Halacha Ketvarov, the, 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 the Mishnah brings Achreinim who say, we go like the first opinion and Mavsik. And therefore, if a person gets called up and is in the middle of Berichas Krishma or even Krishma itself, he should go up to his Aliyah. Now what about Mafta? <laughs> you got Mafta, you got they called you up for half Torah. So, so look at number 17. Imagine you're doing half you're doing Mafta and half Torah in the middle of Krishna, you're allowed to. Now we're pushing the boat, right? Now he's got a bench goimel as well. Yeah, don't bench Goimel now. That now's not the time. You're in the middle of Krishma. Um, now, normally, what's the minig? When you get an aliyah, you stay there for the not just your parsha, of course, but for the next parsha. Yeah, you wait there until the next guy who has aliyah finishes his brachachrena. Yeah, the cost of our chashulchan shekan in this situation yachsim kum and miyad lachashin levarech. As soon as you said the bracha, the second bracha, you go straight back to your seats. Kadei ligma likra krishma. Okay, that's one interesting footnote. Another interesting one, number eighteen. Um, what about if you're if you're in the middle of krishma and you're a kohen and you it comes for duchening, should you go up to duchen? 
So he says, Lalo is the Birchus Kohanim, Kashu be Emsa Krishna, Birchusa, Kosova Kafachaim, Shem Shalshu Vichus Kthanas, Shem Yesh Shom Kahanim Achirim, Yetza Chutza. If there are other Kohanim, then you can sneak out. Avalim Hua Kena Yechidi, if you're the only Kohen in town, and you picked a bad day to come late to Shul, Yoch Lalo is simply Kovada Tzibur, you're allowed to stop in the middle of Birchus Krishna, even Krishna. To, to say that the brachas vahisif shem yuchul l'sayim as a parsha l'pachas a pasuk shem you can okay say that my meidah chagon ruchan kanievsky says she yochul alus be krishma velo chilek beinim yeshom noisaf and you can you can go up you can go up okay that's another interesting one number nineteen also um, he says kosov gan rishlem zaman arbach she ain likroi kamoi be emsa perik or miuchas akonim imakbidim lahasias ha'ol l'tera sheikras yachad ima balkira Especially nowadays, we, we, know, we you know, not everyone reads with the Balkura, so you shouldn't read with the Balkura, you just listen to him. Um, now, here comes a very interesting one. You, you're, you came late to Shul, you're in the middle of Krishna, and you get the Aliyah, so we said that the Akhrenim say that you should go up nowadays, you should get up. What if the guy makes a mistake in his Kriya? <laughs> Are you allowed now to further interrupt to say that's not how you pronounce that word? Right? So footnote 20, the Khenim Rosh Akhir Batura Toba Kriya, the Balkura made a mistake, he quotes the Lev Chaim, the Shuz Lev Chaim, Sheyigabo, uh, you should make a little noise, no, no, whatever you say, or Zika Chumish for Yir Eloes Atoy, so take a Chumish and show him the mistake, Avalo Yotzim Epiv Shum Dibba, but you shouldn't speak, and uh, you should try and minimize the interruption. Uh, one last footnote, the Achri Bar, yeah, okay, oh, let's, let's take on the next one. Okay, good. Uh, let's do Halacha Hey quickly, it's a short one. The Eloheim Bein HaProkim. So we made distinction between Bein HaProkim, try and get to the end of the Perak. What is the end of the Perak? Bein Brocha Rishon Elishniya. That's the first Brocha of Birchus Kriyashma, the end of the, uh, yeah, and then the next one. Yitzah Ur and then the Avar Abba. Bein Shniya, um, Bein Brocha Rishon Elishniya, Bein Shniya Lishma. That's Oyev Ami Yisrael or whatever it is. Tishma. Bein Shema Levahoyim Shemoya. Bein Vahoyim Shemoya Levahoyime. Don't be mafsik between the end of the third paragraph of Shema, the last paragraph of Shema, and Emes. Then that's got a din of Emes HaPerek. Says the little bit of Mishnah on this. Bein Prokim. Or Bein Prokim the Arvis Gam came dinner kamo b'shachris. And the Bein Prokim of Arvis is the same as shachris. But I'm behalacha. Just take a look at 23. Interestingly, the Acha Barchu b'shachris for Arvis. When the Chazan says Barchu, Kosov Leel, we said previously she dinner kem tzaperek. Even though you haven't started Baruch Atah Hashem and Kirim Hamavi Aravi whatever it is, you that's considered bem tzaperek. When the Chazan said uh, Barchu, says the Mishnah Berurah, you've got on a kafches lo yafsik that you shouldn't be mafsik between vayoymer and emes v'yatziv hatam mishum dixiv and v'ashem elokim emes. That's what the pasuk says. Lafichuch ein la hafsik boy. Uh, it's even stricter than Emsa Perik, so you shouldn't be mafsik there. Even a small delay, you shouldn't be mafsik. So you have to say Okay, we'll leave it there. See you then. Also.